Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live 10 at 10. Instead of being terrified and quivering in a corner, I want them to be joyous about life. They deserve it. Rescuing dogs comes at a cost, but volunteers say it's worth every penny. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. Mike has the evening off. 55 dogs were taken from a Shelly, Minnesota home just a few days ago. Hytale Rescue and Holly says the dogs' expenses have reached well over $200 a piece, putting it at more than $1,000, $11,000. Valley News Team's Macy Enger checked up on some of the beagles to find out the next steps on their road to a recovery. Meet everybody in the world. First car ride. What do you think, buddy? First vet visit. He's so scared. First day of a new start at life. Come on, honey. Three shelters are taking care of 55 rescued beagles from Shelly, Minnesota. 13 of those dogs currently call the Hightail Rescue home and made the trip to Pelican Rapids. We've dealt with smaller numbers of dogs before, nothing this extensive before. All the dogs are fine. They're, they're okay. They were well fed. They just have had very little to no socialization and no care other than food. A big order for the Weckwith Animal Hospital, filling the waiting rooms to the brim. Each pup got an exam, up to date on their shots and tags. Not only did these beagles get checkups today, but they also got their names. This is Shy Guy. Who is this? Buford. <laughs> Harold. Larry. For those at Hightail Rescue, it's a treat to see these pups get care because these women pour their hearts into every animal in need. I see little souls who need me. And anything within the reach of my arm, we'll get the help he needs. Let's go get the rest of our life started. Just Come the on. first step to finding a new home. In Pelican Rapids, Macy Inger, Valley News Live. Well, the vets are saying a few of the dogs who had exams earlier today have mange or other ear infections, but they're otherwise in good health. Two dogs may also be pregnant. Adoption requests are flooding in, as you may think, but not all the dogs have been spoken for yet. If you're interested in adopting one or giving a donation, you can contact the three shelters that rescue these pups. It's Hightail Rescue in Holly, Humane Society of Polk County, and the For Love of Dog Rescue in Fargo. We've got the links to these sites and much more information on our website. Head to valleynewslive.com, click on this story, and help these pups out. Child care is hard to come by in most places in the valley, and in Milner, North Dakota, there were no licensed daycare providers. That was until now. A new nearly half-million-dollar facility is scheduled to open on Monday. A state grant covered only a small portion of the construction cost, so the city of Milner banded together, raising the rest of the money themselves. I think when you work on a project as hard as all of us have, it almost becomes your own baby. You just, you, you just want to make sure everything goes well and, and right and that it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Organizers hope to plan and host preschool child care and before and after school activities. If you'd like to help, they're still gathering donations for a new playground. Well, there are many questions surrounding why a Fargo man who had 37 offenses in Cass County alone was able to just walk the streets as a free man. Now he's been arrested again, this time for rape and assault. Ayab Abkura was accused of raping and assaulting a woman on Tuesday night, a woman who was five months pregnant. And Abakar was just released from jail a week before we first reported the story. Many of you wanted to know how this person was still behind bars. According to Cass County State's attorneys, the legal system takes a person's past record into account, but if there's not enough evidence for the current crime, they must sentence accordingly. Unfortunately, the criminal justice system doesn't stop crime. Crime occurs, and the criminal justice system is responsive to that. One of the things we'd like to see happen is that as people move through the system, people would say, hey, I don't want to go to jail, and it would defer them from committing crime. That doesn't necessarily happen, though. But as of today, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Department has issued an immigration hold on Abaker, which means they also need to talk with him. Well, it's Friday. Time to get a look at this week's Valley's Most Wanted. Police say that Rosala Opgard is wanted for drug possession and probation violation. Here's a picture of her. She's about 5'9", 220, and police say that call them if you have any information on her whereabouts. 
And if you need help uncovering any issue in your community, any fraud or corruption, call our whistleblower hotline and we'll do our best to get to the bottom of it. Call 701-237-6576. Leave your tip with us and a member of our investigative team will get on the case and go to work exposing the truth. A big milestone for women advocates. The state legislature has passed a bill that requires doctors to tell their patients if they have dense breast tissue. Now, this is a type of tissue that's often harder for doctors to spot breast cancer in. As Jessica Roos reports, though, the bill didn't really pass through the Senate without a lot of debate. When someone goes in for a mammogram, they're sent a letter after telling them the results. The majority of North Dakota lawmakers want to include a line in that letter, letting the patient know if they have dense breast tissue. So for me, th this bill does have actually more than just a little benefit. If passage of House Bill 1370 saves the life of one woman or one man, then it's well worth passage of the bill. But not everyone agreed. Some felt the legislature was overstepping its bounds by placing a mandate on medical professionals. It simply is not something that we should uh, make law about. Um, we are uh, essentially practicing medicine without a license. And let's face it, we do tell other types of businesses what to do. This is not the only issue where we're telling somebody, you can't do this to my profession. We do it all the time. The bill passed out of the chamber 33 to 13. For NBC North Dakota News, I'm Jessica Roos. The bill will now go to the governor's desk for a signature. The Nelson County Highway Department is keeping a close eye on a breach in the Tolna Dam that's just southeast of Tolna, North Dakota, which is a town that's just east of the Spirit Lake Reservation. A hole was developed, has been developed there, and the dam is expected to collapse. Now, the water from the Tolna Coulee eventually travels to the Bald Hill Dam, to Valley City, and eventually into West Fargo. The Barnes County emergency manager says the amount of water at Tolna is equal to less than a quarter foot of pool level at Bald Hill Dam at Lake Ashtabula. And, thankfully, with the dry spring, there's really about three feet of storage available in Lake Ashtabula if the dam does collapse in Tolna, sending water their way. State officials will provide public updates when needed with concerning this situation for you. Well, truckers and those hauling heavy equipment, you might want to listen up. Spring weight restrictions start today in parts of Minnesota. The MnDOT truck limits our weights in preventing damage to road weakened during this spring thaw. Here's a picture of some of the zones. Two zones that are affected are the north, central, and north zone. To get a whole map, though, showing the exact weight restrictions in all the regions, Head to valleynewslive.com and click on the hot button. Ending dates for the restrictions are going to be announced as strength and weather conditions change. And don't forget to like Valley News Live on Facebook for stories just like this and many more. You can follow the latest news, weather, and breaking news updates anytime on your feed. Just search Valley News Live, like our page, and stay informed throughout the entire day. And stay with us. We'll have much more coming up right after the break. You're watching Valley.